Hey everyone, welcome back to the Power Baseball League. We have an exciting tip to show you today, but first we wanted to give a quick announcement that this is going to be our last kind of formal show of the Power Baseball League. We have really enjoyed sharing all of our tips and tricks and best practices with you and kind of working through this whole um, project life cycle. We started with requirements and just brainstorming about the potential of these, this project. And then we walked through a whole bunch of different um, things that you have to do in a project, building out our entities, building out our forms, and talking about lots of other cool stuff, building our power app for form data, and all kinds of fun stuff. So today we're going to finish off with talking about themes and how you can use a theme to really um, add that finishing touch on your uh, app that you're delivering. And we're going to give you some tips and tricks around that. So Malcolm, I'll let you take it away. Sounds good. And we're going to we're going to explain more about why it's coming to an end and, and kind of reflect back here in a minute. But we do want to show you this quick tip. So let me just pull up our environment. And so as you know, um, we've been working in our sandbox environment, but you've got your theme essentially is, you know, your color scheme, right? So your what does it say up here? You've got the ability to put in a logo. I'm sure you've watched other content out there where you've seen some pretty creative stuff in there. So we're not going to be quite as creative as that for the purposes of this demo, because as we've done all along, the idea here is to just give you the know how really quickly to show you how to go in and dive into something. And so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the advanced settings, which is going to open our classic editor, at least today. Uh, who knows what it's going to do tomorrow, because these things change so quickly that by the time we publish this, it may be dated. But for the time being, when you click that, you're going to end up in the classic interface. We're going to click on customizations and themes is right here on the left. And so this is where you've got the option to choose a couple of different themes and they'll give you a couple out of the box like this. So we've got the default one, which you're seeing. That's our, our the one that's picked. As you can see, it's set to default. You could go blue, you could go orange, and these are just Microsoft's like, here's a gift for you, blue theme, orange theme and default theme. But we want to create our own because maybe we have our own branding, we have our own color schemes, we have our own um, stuff that we want to embed. We want our own logo in there and so on. So you could start with a new theme and just start from scratch, or you could copy a theme or clone a theme. And so we're going to take the clone approach just because what that's going to do is copy all of the stuff out, out of whatever one we, we clone, which is going to be the default theme. So all the colors are going to be set. Now, if we knew exactly what we wanted to do with all of the different colors, if, if you've done this before, you probably know. So you you know which color is, is which item is representative of what, what part of the system. If you've never played with this, it's great to start with a clone because A, you're not going to mess up the one that's there. And B, you can kind of play around and preview it, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and clone this. It happens super fast, so we didn't even edit that. It was that fast. And so we've got copy of our default theme and I'm going to go ahead and click that. And we're going to call this the power baseball league theme. And so you can see right here, we've got all of our parts of the system, right? So your navigation bar. So up top here, we've got your shelf color. So the, the white in there, there's a bunch of stuff on here that I don't even necessarily know what they all are. And there's some great resources out there uh, that help you figure that out. We're going to show you one of them in a couple minutes. But for the time being, we know we want to put Power Baseball League there and we want to put our logo in. Now we've gone ahead and created a, a, a web resource and that web resource is what houses the image. Now we, cr we created a logo. It is super basic. It's not fancy in any stretch of the imagination. We created it just for the purposes of throwing it in here. So I'm going to go ahead and there's actually, we actually already have the web resource loaded in here. So I'm going to go new PDL. And that's going to bring up our web resource. I'm going to go ahead and click that because it's going to load our web resource container, if you will. And if you've never played around with these, we'll we'll find you some resources on on how to do that. But it's um, it's all in the Microsoft Docs. And so what we can do is choose a file, and I've gone ahead and we've created a couple of different ones. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the one that we created. So let's go with that one too. I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'll publish it. 
And so now that that's published, I'm just going to minimize this for a sec. We've got the logo embedded here. Now we could go ahead and start to change all of our stuff. We could change the tool tip. So the power baseball, this is just what people are going to see when they hover over it. Power, oops, baseball weight. And when they hover over the, the logo, they're going to see that tool tip. You can, you can start changing colors around. And Kylie, you had the hashtag color in front of you there. You had the oh, color. Oh, I did have it. it yeah, EE3C80. E e e e e e Perfect. So if that's- you if you need hashtag know, pink, there yeah. it is. Yeah, if you know <laughs> Kylie's, uh, the, the adventures of hashtag, if you don't look her up on the blog, you'll, you'll find all about it. But so we've got the pink color in there. Now, if we click preview, it's gonna show us what that theme is going to look like. So again, don't judge the logo. This was a super simplistic, just throw it together for the purposes of this. Naturally, you know, if you're working for an organization, you take the logo file, the docs will give you the exact dimensions that are ideal for this, and you can embed that logo. Now we did one where we put it on a uh, invisible background. You could do the, a certain color and match that color to the, the your navigation bar. Um, whatever works best for you, right? And then you can go in here and play around with all of these different colors. And again, all, all of these are different parts of the system and they're gonna show up in different areas. So we'll put the links in the, in the, the I found one recently, a great blog that showed you exactly what all of these things were so that you understood what you were changing when you were changing any of these colors. One of the tips that we wanted to call out for this though, is to be careful. And this is all the more reason to take a, a clone of it because you can get really tacky. I mean, this pink, I love the hashtag pink, but it may not jive well with some of the other colors like this yellow or this blue or some of the other colors on here. So it actually takes some forethought to what colors go really good with each other. And we are not graphic designers, hence the logo. Uh, we're not also, I'm not by any stretch a, a designer, an interior designer or know anything about color. Just ask my wife, she would tell you. She often picks up my clothes because I have no idea what goes with what. And so that's a thing you want to consider in here because you want your theme to speak to your users. Not only do you want it branded, but you want it to be logical and attractive as they're working through the, the system. They, it, it should look and feel like something cohesive and, and unified. And so you want to make sure you have good color scheme for that. Kylie found this tool that we're not 100% sure that it's still relevant for the new UI because it's it's got 15 and 16 in here. But this was a really neat thing that you could actually come in here and you could pick and choose different colors. So we could say, let's go with red and slide that up top here. And so you can see on the preview side, it's giving you a, that's what it's gonna look like, right? Here's what green looks like, here's what yellow. So really quickly you can see like, oh, that looks horrible. That's not a color we wanna use. How about the green? Pretty tacky. Maybe we wanna settle for something like that. So this is a great little resource. We'll put this in the description as well. Again, use with caution. We're not entirely sure if it's relevant for the new um, UI. But if you want to get back to the, the static, we just click whichever one we want. You pick either one and it'll reset the default fact for you. So that's a real quick overview of themes. We went, I went through that pretty quickly, but the idea here is to just give you the ability to see what a theme looks like. And then you can actually publish that theme by clicking the publish theme button. And that's going to go ahead and turn that theme on. And that's now what all your users will see. And as they refresh the system, if they're already in there, it's going to pull up your new theme. You can make changes as you go if you need be. But of course, you don't want to be changing things on the fly. So use that preview feature, clone, preview, make sure it looks just like the way you want it, and then roll it out to your users. Kylie, do you have any tips on themes? Yeah, I was just going to say, can you pop back to the app and refresh that and show them kind of what it looks like? Because I think kind of what you're seeing here is the old format, but in the new form, um, it should be there. I did see it. It did work. <laughs> but in the yeah. new form, you know, it looks slightly different. So I think that's what you want to know while you're playing with those theme colors. Not all of them are going to you aren't not all of them are going to look the same in the classic interface versus the new interface so just be prepared to play with that a little um i think two other tips i'd give in there is to pay attention to all of those settings that we don't know what they mean necessarily because you could find some really cool functionality in there um, one thing an example from an organization that i used to be with was 
there were some users that as we were transitioning to the unified interface, they were really struggling with all the white space to know where to click and where the field boundaries are. And there's actually settings that control like when I hover over this field, what should the outline of the field be? Right. Mm -hmm. And so we could set that to be black or something. So as you're scrolling, then you see the field boxes. Right. So that's something helpful. And the other thing that I see pretty frequently is making sure you're changing the color of your different environments. Right. Because all of us who are makers, citizen developers, customizers, whatever you want to be called, we're working in our dev environment, our test environment, maybe a, a test, maybe another QA environment, a deployment, pre-prod, whatever, production. And you need to know when you're in production and when you're not in production. So that's a really simple tip and super easy to do. Just go in there, copy that theme, change that header bar color, and then make it, make sure all your environments have a different theme set up and you're good to go. Yeah, that's a great call out and it saved me before we I typically pick orange. I don't know why I ever settled on orange, but it was just the one that I landed on. And so it's usually a bright orange color and it's I've been caught a few times where I'm you get busy, right? You're on autopilot, you're doing this, you move from one to the other and all of a sudden you go, well, wait a minute, I'm I'm in production. I shouldn't be here. It's not where I meant to be. Right. And so uh, and you know when you set your colors and you follow the same theme all the time, it's you're looking for that bright orange you know you'd like to think that sandbox is enough sometimes it's not you know you get into autopilot you get tunnel vision and and you're kind of just plowing through but that colorful top is enough to sometimes be enough to just be like in your face like wow well, you're in the wrong spot which is important yeah for sure so that's a bit about themes hopefully you have a chance to play with it that, to the point that kylie just made you know sandbox is a great place to start with that so that you have a you know you play around mess around with your theme in the sandbox no big deal users aren't gonna find too much pain in that um and, and if they do you can say hey i'm just trying to make sure you know where you are right so there you go but then we also wanted to just chat for a few minutes about the power baseball league coming to the, the end of the season if you will um and and why that is right and it's really just purely because we've covered a lot of ground over the last i don't even know did we even talk about how long we've been doing this i think it's been like six to eight months i think we started in august or september so i mean it's basically been like a whole year of baseball so <laughs> yeah exactly so and it's just we've covered a ton of ground we've covered a lot of stuff we had um you know one of the best memories if you will of of all of this was from just before the holidays or maybe even over the holiday break around the, the end of december we had somebody chime in on youtube with some questions and then you know we, we chimed back and helped them out as much we could and then they came back with uh acknowledging that they use the content that we created here in their real life scenario which was like blew me away that was awesome like, we do we did this because Kylie and I both love to just put information back. We're learning, you know, if you follow my blog, it says we're always, we're all learning. We might as well learn together. That's the premise of all of this whole exercise is just whatever little knowledge we can share and give back and trust me, we learned a ton just going through here. Several times, we'll, maybe Kylie will hit me for saying this, but we were like, wow, are we sure we should be producing these videos when we have this question? <laughs> but it's that's all about learning. And there's so much to understand that it makes sense that you're going to forget stuff sometimes. So it's good recap. And that's why we focus on some of these kind of, you know, maybe more basic features. But for new admins who we think are probably the most common viewers are these are things that people may not realize so we were hopeful that it was helpful and we know that it has been because we've heard that from people which is super cool feeling but there's lots of other things that we both wanted to do in our own sort of contribution um docket if you will of things we wanted to cover and we thought this would be a natural break point for us to say hey we've got a point where we have got our solution created it's doing all the things we said it was going to do we now have a theme let's hand it off to the customer and then move on to the next project, whatever that may be. So, Yeah, and I think we're not saying there will never be another season because there were so many requirements that we thought of at the beginning that we haven't implemented yet, mm -hmm. but those were those were phase two, right? And so maybe, maybe we'll come back and tackle those one day, but completely agree. I think, I think we've 
said it time and time again that we we needed help through all of this. Yeah. And I think especially for us being traditionally dynamics people and now trying to kind of incorporate the power platform, there's lots of things we don't know. We don't know when when to be in classic or maker. And and these are all things that our goals were to learn as part of this, um, which I think we've succeeded at. And I think the other thing that was really important for this is just the strength of our community. So we had several great um, people stop in as guest speakers to talk to us and help us through things. I know we had uh, Todd Mercer, Nick Dolman, Megan Walker, um, Phil Topness. And it, it was just great. We had people stop by, just share their knowledge. And, you know, people are always willing to help. And yeah. also, you know, big shout out to all of you who have been watching our videos. I know we have a few diehard fans in Heidi and Chad and NECDET. Yeah. So just really appreciate you guys. And please be, you know, letting us know what other content that you want to see from us coming up in the future, whether it's more baseball league or just other short tip videos, please leave them in the comments below and we'll try and get something for you guys. And don't go yet because we have an exciting video still coming up next week. Yes. Malcolm, do you want to tell them what it is going to, going wow. to be? Uh, what you you don't see, although maybe you do see some of them as we go through, but uh, without giving away too much, if you've never produced a video, there's a lot of times when you start to record and you realize you're not quite ready to record. And so uh, we, we've certainly had our share of bloopers. So Kylie's 100% Kylie too. She's put it all together on her end, uh, strung together a, a, a hits and it's shamefully fairly lengthy because there's a lot of them. <laughs> so, um, but there's a, there's a fun little blooper video coming out next week that you can watch that hopefully will give you a chuckle. It certainly did us as we as we watched it back and, and played it. It's it's a lot of fun. So hopefully you stick around and watch that and feel free to chime in and make fun of us because um, we deserve it. Yeah, get excited <laughs> and tell us your favorite moments. Yes. So awesome. thanks again, everyone, for joining us down this um, 30 videos. I think this is video number 30 that we've produced awesome. in this series. So thank you for joining us and you know be letting us know what else you wanna see. Yeah, thanks everybody. See you around.